Hey, this is What You Waiting For, a woman's perspective on camping and survival. And today I was doing a simple thing that I can do to help me prep. And you can do this too. And it is rotating your water storage. And I mentioned in the last video that I was going to be doing this. Uh, I happen to get most of my water storage used already. I put it in my laundry. I did a couple loads of laundry today. I added it to that. I added it to my dishwash, uh, dishwater when I hand wash dishes. Um, I fed some to the bunny. I watered plants. So a lot of this I had already emptied. And so I wanted to go ahead and do this before I put everything away. And as I said in the other video, we do it every six months. Um, you might want to figure out two set dates. Uh, me and my husband's birthday is about six months apart, so we do it right around our birthday. Uh, you could also do it like when you change uh, your clocks back. You can just have that as the set time. But the thing is to make sure that you rotate your stock. And I was going to go over a few things that I don't think I talked about in other videos. And if I did, I'm sorry, I'm repeating. But some water storage is really important, and you can never have enough and you can never learn enough about water storage. This is how I started my water storage. I started by drinking our um, just plain old uh, 16 ounce bottles of water and then refilling them. And then eventually I, we don't drink a lot of soda, but once in a while we do. So I did get a few soda bottles, we drink a lot of juice, we drink, you know, a lot of extra water bottles when we empty them, other juice bottles. And as you can see, we've built up quite a bit. I still have more that I need to do, but this is all I could do at one time. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and videotape it. Uh, but I will, first of all, I wanted to talk about these little bottles here. Um, a few years ago, they seemed to be really durable, but now they are are so thin and I'm always afraid that they are going to leak. Uh, so I am trying to stay away from these bottles. I do have some that I bought previously that are a little more heavier plastic and I feel more confident in them but you could definitely use these if you have to. And they have like the Coke bottles, the small individual Coke bottles you could use. They are heavier. These are actually uh, Nestle Quick Bottles, the Chocolate Quick Bottles. And then they also have like the Gatorade little bottles, individual bottles. And all of these bottles are a little bit heavier plastic than the just toss and go because they're turning into really, really thin plastic now. But anyway, I wanted to tell you why it would be good to have some of these. And... I, I, there's a couple reasons, but the first idea I had was it's great if we had to bug out, we could take them, throw them in the individual backpacks, and, you know, you could just grab them and go. They're, those are a little bit heavier. They're a little bit more bulky. They're not likely to fit in your pack. These ones are really easy just to take on the run. Also, they're great if you have to, like, start rationing water. You could just give out like a bottle of water um, and you can also figure out what your family consumption is by how many of the little bottles you go through because it's hard if you have a big old gallon bottle to figure out, well, did I use a, you know, a, a gallon and a quarter or a gallon and a half? And this is a lot easier to figure out and to be able to ration to people. Another reason the little bottles are great is if you do go camping or bug out you know exactly it's six around 16 ounces some of the other ones are a little bigger but most water bottles are about 16 ounces which is two cups so if you needed one cup to say cook some ramen noodles you know half a bottle is the correct amount to use so that's another good reason to have the little bottles around uh, plus the weight, the storage, it's easier to store these things than it is to, you know, store a bunch of those. Um, what we do to store these little bottles is we have a bucket, and you can use the little plastic bins, but I really like the bucket with the rope handles. It, it's really heavy, and we just stack them all 
I don't know if you can see them all in there. We just stack them all in there. And I think there's about 30 or so in there. We can easily cut out like a piece of plywood, put on the top of those, and then stack 30 more. Uh, but why we put them in buckets? First of all, it's easier, or bins, it's easier if we have to go somewhere, just grab this, put it in the car, and we're ready to go. Another reason is if they leak, they leak in the bucket and not all over everywhere in my cupboard. So this would be a great thing, you know, if, if you're doing a lot of water storage, uh, some kind of containment would be great for them. Uh, another thing that we do, we put this in our pantry, so we make sure we cover it. If you have a lid, you can put a lid on it, but these ones don't have lids, so what, what I do is I take my clean tablecloths that I only use once a year and just put it on top. And what that does is whenever I turn the light on in the pantry, the sun doesn't get through to them, and uh, it, it won't, it'll prevent algae from forming. So that was the little bottles. The next thing we did was we started doing like the juice bottles. And these are perfect because they're smaller than a gallon. They're easier for the kids to carry. Um, in fact, if the kids have to go to like wash their, their teeth, brush their teeth or wash their hands in a small sink, I suggest you take a couple of these and put them at each sink because it's a lot easier for the kids to manipulate this little bottle and pour it on their toothbrush or pour it in a little cup for them than it is one of these big gallon because some of them are a little heavy for the smaller kids. So anyway, we, we uh, pack these water, this water up just like we did the other ones. Uh, we disinfected the bottles and filled them all the way up, disinfected the lids, put them on, and it's just plain water from our tap. Now, the only reason I have this one bottle is because I originally bought a box, and it was a box from Walmart, and it had three drinking water gallons in it, and I bought it for camping. Well, we used one box, but I bought an additional box and just put it in the cupboard, and in about three months, two of the bottles, this is the last one, two of the bottles, they, they were breached. They started leaking. And I walked in one day. There's water everywhere that I never noticed before. The box is just falling apart. And it is because these gallon jugs are just terrible, and they're designed to break down. And that's what they do over time. So I suggest you do not have any of these <laughs> in your water storage unless you can sit there and monitor them probably monthly, um, maybe even weekly, to make sure that they do not leak. And the rest of these bottles, bottles will also be going into different buckets and bins that I have. And they're going to be up here. But I just wanted um, to show you what I did on January 6th. Uh, this is not the only water storage we have. We have uh, more bottles that I need to go through. I just haven't emptied them yet. And I also have our drinking four-gallon uh, containers that are for, like, water coolers that we have a pump that we pump it out. And we also have aquatainers. We just got a hold of some water barrels, but <laughs> we bought them really cheap, and it basically was to just water the uh, trees in our land. But... I'd like to have one of them here. The only problem is they were pickle stored. <laughs> Pickles were stored in it. So it's pickly smell. So I'm going to work on that and just see if I can happen to get rid of that very strong pickle odor. And if I do, then I'll have an additional 55 gallon. And we're always looking for bigger ones. And I have seen a few. Just money-wise, we haven't been able to do right now. And also remember, when you store, do not store directly on concrete. Uh, I heard from several different people that it leaches chemicals into your water through the plastic. So just another thing to think of. And this is what I'm doing, my simple thing I'm doing today. Uh, and you should go do it too. Rotate your water storage about every six months. And I'll talk to you later. What you waiting for? Bye.